Okay, students, welcome to the uh, fourth uh, class of the module five. This is the final uh, uh, class for this brittle coating methods. Uh, myself, Varesh Kumar KS, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, JIT, Down. Okay, this is the final topic, and it's very important topic uh, according to the syllabus and according to the exam papers. Okay, calibration method. So calibration method is nothing but uh, you have just applied the coating on the surface, but before applying that, you have to calibrate the coating with using the uh, some uh, basic standard uh, method. Okay, the basic standard method which you apply, which you calibrate it, then you can use and you can determine the stresses for the any material. Okay, to determine the stress for to determine the strength sensitivity or a threshold strength. For the coating, the coating has to be calibrated. The static method may be adopted to calibrate the coating. Okay, you can just refer this diagram. So, uh, you can see here for calibration of the stress coating, a cantilever uh, calibrating strip is used. You can see here we are using one strip which is calibrating strip. Uh, it is cantilever, means one side is fixed, one side it is free. It is just showing in handle, but it is not uh, fixed in here. Only one side it is fixed. Okay. The calibrating strip consisting of bar, okay, it's having bar of aluminum 300 long, 300 mm long. So it is of 300 mm long, 2.54 mm wide. It is wide of 2.54 mm and 6 mm thick. The thickness is 6 mm. The calibrating strip after having been sprayed with the same uh, lacquer as test specimen and dried. What we do, we apply the coating that is called as lacquer. We will apply that lacquer over that whatever the uh, strip uh, as the test specimen and it is going to be dried. Is mounted in the special loading fixture. This is the special loading fixture as the cantilever beam and uh, subjected to fixed de deformation at a free end we applied some deformation by using this handle free at a free end the lacquer should have scrapped from the calibration st strip at the end which is to be clapped in the loading fixture and the point of contact with the cam so this is also a cam where the point of contact when the cl clamp in the strip in the calibrating fixture the locking screw should be tightened until the strip just touches the bottom calibrating fixture the locking screw should be tightened until the strip just touches the bottom of the loading cam to ensure the consistency of strain between the calibrating fixture and the calibrating scale so what we do uh, we'll uh, just uh, uh, make this calibrating strip uh, and we will apply some load over this what are the calibrating strip uh, and you can also uh, see so uh, we can see the scale okay this crack coating on the scale which will represent uh, at what amount of distance what is the amount of strain develops so you can see here crack if you're using this scale if you refer, take the crack pattern which are generated because of this loading this whatever the strip after loading it will experience the uh, loading at its free end and it is fixed at one end so the crack patterns are generated like this okay uh, higher at the wherever the stress is more and lower at wherever the stress is less okay you can see the crack patterns formation so this will be compared with this scale the calibrating scale so that calibrating scale which will show what is the amount of stress because this calibrating scale is obtained uh, actually this uh, calibrated scale is obtained after this method uh, so we will uh, compare this with the aluminum strips we know that what is this lo loading uh, what is the uh, stress develops when, up, uh, when we apply some amount of loading so uh, we can easily calibrate that strip with respect to the aluminum uh, that whatever the uh, bar which is used in here the point on the strip at which the crack commences is marked the marked and represents the section where the strains are equal to the strain sensitivity of the lacquer. Okay. So since we are using the whatever the aluminum strip it is having some strain. So it is equal to the strains which are developed in the coating. Okay. So like that it is going to be calibrated. The calibration strip 
can then be removed from the loading fixture and placed alongside of the calibrating scale. So this strip is removed from here and it is placed over this calibrating scale from which the incipient crack strain can read. So we can read the crack strains. Uh, the figure show uh, like that we are going to make the calibrating calibration of this whatever the uh, this strip. This is the calibration method and it is very important method for the the same explanation is given in here you can read it okay okay thank you for the students i hope uh, you have understood this what are the method uh, of calibration just you have to use a special fixture one end is fixed one end is free by using ca cam handle you apply the load the strip is going to be bended uh, it will be act as a cantilever beam uh, when that is bended, the stresses are going to be generated in the aluminum strip and also in the that whatever the coating uh, strap. This coating strap is going to be removed and it will be taken for the crack determination where you can see the cracks. This crack formatted the cracks are going to be uh, placed with respect to this calibrating scale and this scale represents what is the amount of strain develops at a different portion. So by that we can determine the we can make the calibration of a brittle coating. Okay. Thank you, student. Hope uh, you have understood. If you have any queries, you can just ask me uh, by using my contacts. Okay. Thank you. By that, we completed the fifth module, and this whatever the module we have covered, it consists of the maximum part. So don't neglect it. Uh, try to uh, learn as much as possible. Okay. All the best. Thank you.